Google is trying to change something big about the internet, the way websites track our activity. Google says it'll be a more robust way to protect user privacy, but how much can we trust a company whose main source of revenue is, you guessed it, advertising. So here's the deal. Google is putting a new tracking scheme into their Chrome browser called Flock. Nope, not that one. Nah, not that one either. Flock stands for Federated Learning of Cohorts, which surprisingly is not the name of an academy from Star Trek. Instead, Flock is meant to be a replacement from the much maligned and frankly super annoying third-party cookie system we use today. Third-party cookies are from sites other than the one you're using and are very common tools for advertisers to track what sites you visit and serve you relevant ads based on your browsing habits. But because it's rather easy for websites to personally identify users with the help of third-party cookies, there's been growing concern about them from both consumers and governments, which led Google to announce in early 2020 that these cookies would be phased out of Chrome. Enter Flock. The idea here is that instead of allowing advertisers to track users individually, users will instead be assigned to cohorts made up of several thousand people. By default, Chrome will track your browsing habits, and once it comes up with a list of topics it thinks you're interested in, the browser will put you in a cohort with people who share the same interests. Each cohort will get an ID number, which is then shared with third-party advertisers. So the idea is that if your browsing habits put you in a cohort that enjoys ice cream, PC building, and Renaissance era art, you'll get ads geared toward those things, but they won't be as specific to you, so the advertisers won't know that you like eating butter pecan ice cream while screwing in a Cooler Master AIO and staring at the Mona Lisa. So less targeted to one person, but still specific enough for advertisers to use. And although this is obviously a lighthearted example, the hope is that Flock will prevent advertisers, especially the more unscrupulous ones, from discovering sensitive personal details by forcing them to target thousands of people at once rather than just you. Additionally, Chrome will auto-generate cohorts and is supposed to assign you to a new one each week, hopefully making it even more difficult to track users. But Flock has plenty of detractors who are warning that it isn't a panacea for privacy issues. There are other ways for sites to figure out who you are other than just browsing habits. And one big concern is that Flock gives sites another data point, the cohort ID, that could be used in conjunction with identifiers like your IP address, your screen size, and even the way your specific machine handles audio in order to work out who you are. And even though Flock is supposed to discourage this sort of behavior by making it unnecessary, there's no guarantee that the ad industry is going to be happy with this form of less specific targeting. And since it isn't clear how complicated the Flock algorithm is, there's also the possibility that the whole thing could be reverse engineered, allowing advertisers and miscreants to work out your browsing history backwards. Now, Google has tried to mitigate concerns in a few ways. Although Chrome won't show you a list of interests Flock has collected, it will give you an option to opt out of it altogether. Google has also said it will not serve any generated cohort IDs that correlate with sensitive topics like domestic abuse, mental health, or politics. Nevertheless, much remains to be seen regarding Flock's staying power and whether it will actually end up making browsers more private. Other major browsers have no plans to implement Flock, but with how much market share Chrome enjoys, it may still have a profound impact on privacy. Flock is already rolling out to a small percentage of Chrome users, so remember to check to opt out if you don't want to take part. Or of course, you could just try living off the grid and hoping that no one sends you ads for the camping equipment by a drone drop. Big thanks to NordPass for sponsoring today's video. NordPass wants to help you keep your private information safe with their password manager that stores all your passwords in a single place behind one master passphrase. NordPass recognizes your favorite websites and automatically fills in your login credentials. It'll help you create new and complex and very secure passwords with a built-in password generator. I remember the first password I ever had, it was like six lowercase letters. Very bad, don't do that anymore. Don't, you don't have to. NordPass helps you access your login credentials on any device, your phone, your laptop, even when you're offline. It's protected by XCHACHA20 encryption and NordPass is audited by Cure53 to ensure peak safety all the time. You can have unlimited passwords, notes, and credit card storage on your NordPass account and a premium account only starts at $250 a month. That gives you additional features like data breach alerts, password health reports, and up to six active devices. For a limited time, you can get 70% off a two-year NordPass premium plan with an extra month for free. So protect your passwords today at nordpass.com slash techwiki and use the code techquickie. 
So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comment section with your ideas for topics that we should cover in the future.